Okay, so hello there guys, and welcome back to The Forge. It is so good to have you here, because today we're going to be making a twisting wrench out of this adjustable wrench. Okay, so as you can see, this is just a 12-inch um, adjustable wrench, and uh, 300 millimeters. Now, the standard ones are, um, you know, your standard one um, is this 250 millimeter one, but I find that's slightly bit too small, and this is just too good all round. Yeah, you can twist, hey, you can probably twist up to inch with this, if, you, if you're strong enough. Um, but yeah, so this one, as you can see, is chrome. Um, sorry for the noises in the background. There's, there's some building going on. Sorry for the noises. Um, this is chromed, and this one, the, the part that I'm going to be welding to isn't. So that's good. Um, so if you can get one that isn't chromed, it's a bit better. And then you've got, you know, your hole so you can hang it on. And um, I pro so you can also use a monkey wrench or a pipe wrench. The monkey wrenches you can't find anymore, but they're old ones. But um, Well, those type wrenches, um, but... I find this is better because because this is, the jaws here are thinner. It's good for twisting small bits of like flat stock and stuff. Which so when I made candle holders in the past, um, and twisted the flat stock, this is pretty good for it. I'm just checking that you can see this. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, so that's why I prefer a wrench, a um, a just a wrench like this one, than over a um, like pipe wrench or anything because it's just a bit thicker and a bit slimmer on the flat side as well. Okay, so we'll open the packaging. Open the packaging, there we are. There we are. Get rid of that. And here's our wrench. Didn't see slightly bigger than that one. And um, so, yeah, let's get straight to welding it. So, I'm going to just clean, there's some paint here. Clean the paint off and create a small flat, a flat spot as well and weld it. And then before that, I'm going to cut a piece of um, half inch half inch round, which is going to be the length of the wrench here. Let me just zoom out a bit. Oh, you can see that. Um, and when you cut your, your half inch round, you can use thicker if you have it, but I, I don't think there's a need to go thicker. Okay, so I'm back, guys, and I've had some lunch, and so now we're going to continue working on the twisting wrench. And um, so I'm using 12mm round, I don't know if I mentioned before, and we're going to mark from the tip of the jaw, um, the tip of the um, uh, adjustable wrench here, so the end there, and we're just going to overestimate the length we need to put it in the vise, but oh well. We'll mark it off right there, and cut it off. And you don't need an angle grinder for this, but you do need a welder, so if you have a welder, you probably have an angle grinder, but we'll cut it off. And so, here we got our piece, which is as long as that, hopefully. Got our measure, oh, it's a bit too long, but it'll be fine. And then this is going to go there. Now, as you can see, let me move this here. Um, here, because this needs to go straight, right? So we're going to have to sort something out here. The best thing to do, probably, is to cut this off at an angle here, which I might do, we'll see. Um, so I'll work that out. And um, and I'll clean up the end. Are we in the camera here? Yep. I'll clean up the um, end here to make it a bit nicer. Now you could um, you could forge something for this, like a handle. Like maybe you could even, if you even wanted, to, you could forge a handle that matches this. Taper the bar, punch a hole if you really wanted to, um, and that would make it nicer. But this is perfectly functional like this. And for the sake of the video, that's what I'm gonna do. And so yeah, right. It's a bit cold out here, but yeah, right, I'll, I'll sort this out then, and grind the, the end here as well. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the cutting in the, um, we thought we could weld it on there, but I think it would be better if it goes here. Um, I'm going to go with the, um, cutting a bevel in option, cutting a, um, angle in. Let's see if I can open this pen. Use my teeth. Um... And I'm just gonna trace roughly the angle that I want. Um, I'm just thinking if this will work. Should do, because that doesn't interfere. Yeah, that will be fine then. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that angle in. Let's 
see if that worked. No, I think that'll be fine. Can you see this? Yeah. This will be fine then. Okay, so so what I'll do is I'll now clean both sides up with a flat disc and clean the rust off and then clean the paint off here and um, and then we'll weld this on then. Okay. Got it, cold. Giving it a nice finish. And then for this I'm just going to give it a brush to get this um, sort of rust and also the um, yeah. I'll just use the wire brush to take the coating and the um, rust off here for this side. Well, now we're gonna, this particular spanner has um, the coating on the top but it's not um, galvanised or chromed so if you can't, if you, as I said before, if you can find a non chrome one, it's better. Unfortunately, this is clear, but not here. So we'll just take the, the paint off that's what we're welding. This is so bad. It's a really ugly weld, right? Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, as you can see, I just did the weld, you know, I just had to mess around with it because the mask is terrible. My dad was saying before that he couldn't see when he was welding. I kind of just said no, but um, it is true that he couldn't see. Um, it's kind of got worse over time. I will get a welding helmet eventually. Um, so yeah, so it's just as simple as welding that on. It doesn't need to be pretty, you know. That's really messed up because I couldn't see what I was doing, but it will work perfectly fine as long as it holds on, you know, strong. And mine's a bit bent that way, but again, that's... This doesn't need to be pretty, you probably can't see on camera. It doesn't need to be pretty. And, um, but yeah, with this wrench you can twist really any size. You know, you can twist flat stock. And if you're strong enough, you can twist the inch. Not that I'll ever need to twist the inch, but you can if you're strong enough. You can probably twist up to 30. It does go up to 30, so up to that much. But you probably wouldn't be strong enough to twist that much. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. And, um... Hopefully you enjoyed it, and these, you know, you can make small ones, small, for example, if you twist loads of 6mm, you can get like a 100mm adjustable wrench and make it out of that, but, you know, your 300mm or 12 inch one is just a good average size for anything, you can twist 6 one if you really have to, you know, but maybe it's a bit uncomfortable for that, but this is just an average size, you can get bigger or smaller if you twist a specific thing every time, but I just need an average one, I'm going to mainly use this on 16 and, and you know three quarter inch as well but anyway yeah as i said before hopefully this was useful hopefully you enjoyed it we'll see you guys next time and so bye for now thanks for watching